Alrighty, hello and welcome back to a brand new, uh, am I the bad guy, so to speak, you know, can't say any certain words before a certain time, which I hate, but let's go ahead and get the shameless plugs done and out of the way, Patreon, I do stories, there's special effects, it's fun, and you'll be supporting the channel, link in the description, I also take commissions of any kind of voice kind, with any kind of content, yes, spicy included, for commissions, you can DM me on Instagram for more details, also in the link below. Now, let's get started. This is a juicy one, my goodness. Ooh. Alright, so, am I the bad guy for not offering support to my dad's wife and laughing at her when she asked for it? Let's get into it. My dad's wife found out six weeks ago that he has been cheating on her for years. They have three kids together, and she had no idea he was cheating. His wife, who I'll call Anne for this post, was my dad's affair partner when he was married to my mom. Boy, oh boy, is this a mess. I was eight when, uh, when we found out, and how that happened was Dad brought Anne over to pick up his stuff because he wanted to move in with her. And shameless también, golly, neither of them cared at all that I was there. A few, uh, a few weeks later, my mom died, car accident, and I moved in with my dad and Anne. But I didn't look at either of them in a positive light. I still don't, and I'm seventeen now. Golly, you poor boy. I hope it gets better for you. Anne and I butted heads a lot over the years. She would talk about deserving more respect, and I told her, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's hilarious coming from you guys. Uh, I told her she was just a lady my dad cheated on mom with, and she'd never be more than that in my eyes. I told her I didn't respect her as a person or as a supposed family member. Dad tried to get me to see him more positively at first, but when he realized, I'd ask the big questions like, why did he do that to my mom and I? Then he stopped trying. Go figure. I always assumed he found a new mistress, but didn't have proof until a year and a half ago when I saw him with another woman. I said nothing, and I carried on waiting for the day that she found out. There were times I wanted to rub it in her face so bad, but I didn't. I was laughing at her behind her back, and I'll admit that. When Anne found out, she kicked Dad out, and I moved in with him. This was seen as a controversial choice, because Anne wanted me to stay, and since everything went down, Anne has wanted me to visit her, and wanted me to be with her and Dad's kids. Look, I'm not close to, to those kids, and don't really care about having a relationship with them. Last week, Dad brought me by Anne's place to pick up more of his and our stuff. Anne's family were there, and Anne and her family were scolding me for choosing Dad over Anne, and saying Anne deserved my support. <laughs> the lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. That they couldn't believe I'd picked Dad's side over hers. I said I picked neither side, but Anne means nothing to me, so I'm not going to do shit for her. Anne's mom told me Anne was a f oh my gosh, the whole family. <sighs> her victim. I told him she cheated with a married man and she shouldn't be shocked that he'd do the same to her because she's nothing special. They kept engaging with me and my dad was taking his sweet ass time. Anne decided to talk to me one on one and asked me to stand by her and support her and help her give the kids a good life and and she's trying to fucking make him a pseudo-father. Golly, dude. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, hope the kids have a good life and showed, uh, you know, and, and to show that we're still a good family. I laughed in her face and started crying, probably crocodile tears. Her family asked her about it, and she told them I'd laughed. 
They called me disgusting and cruel and said I should be ashamed for treating someone in my family that way. And sister sent me a few DMs before I locked down my socials, but she said I should apologize to Anne and be there for her now to make up for my reaction to her. She told me to be a better man and not sympathetic child who blames the woman for stuff. Um, of course, immediately guilt-tripping. Uh, he is being the better man. By trying to separate himself from the situation in fucking tirely. I... Everybody here, minus the kid, is a low-life, scumbag, piece of shit. Everybody is in the wrong. Everybody. Anne is absolutely fucking delusional, and so, are, so is her sister and her the rest of her family. Unless, which more than likely, I mean, if she's willing to cheat that hard and act that way, she probably lied to all of them, you know. Um, but the fact that she thinks that she expects any better, that she expects anything from the kid, right? Like, her and his father are the homewreckers. They don't deserve a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> the the reason he probably only chose his dad, right, is just because it was his dad. And uh, even though, he, you know, because he wasn't the, the outsider coming in to help ruin things. He still did ruin something, but, you know, choosing the lesser of two evils, so to speak. Barely, barely lesser. I mean, both of them are less. Absolutely. <laughs> both of them are lesser. Uh, no, her family's delusional, his, uh, father is just fucking, he's the pathetic man. He needs to do a lot better. In saying who blames the woman for stuff, I mean, if the boot fits, if you fucking cheated with a married man, it is your fault. You let him take you down, I'm, well, how is it not her fault? It's just as much as hers as it is the dad's. Honestly, I, I, I say the dad's even worse. Because, like, yeah, they're both cheaters, but you're the actual one in the relationship, right? And you're choosing to ruin it. With some outsider. Yeah, they're both dog shit, but the dad is, is worse for doing that because he actually has had a family. And I say had because the kid doesn't want anything to do with him. That's not his dad anymore. That's simply the person who aided in his birth. That's it. Just some dude. Just some sperm donor. That's all he is to that kid. And that's all he should be. Oh my goodness. No, he, he <clears throat> honestly, he probably didn't even laugh in her face on purpose. It was just a knee-jerk reaction because the audacity... Like, you see this? Like, you, you read. <laughs> you, you read with me. You, you heard how these people were acting. And the fact that she tried to put the responsibility on a 17-year-old boy. Because, I mean, she probably didn't even feel like raising those kids in the first place, let's be honest. Uh, but, so that way he could take on some of the responsibility. More than likely, she was going to try to dump all those kids on him so she could go off and find some other fucking married, either rich or established dude who had decent money. Uh, fuck him. And then have him pay for her and her kids. That's all she wanted, a free babysitter, more than likely. And the dad, he didn't actually say too, too much about the dad. Uh, but I wouldn't rely on him either. I mean, if he is too much of a fucking little bitch boy pussy mouth to to not even be able to just sit and talk with his own son man to man that 17 year old boy is far more of a man than his father oh I, oh my son's asking the hard questions so i i just i you know uh, i'm too afraid to answer him i can't it's too uncomfy get bent actually better yet get fucked cunt i no that that is not a man and this Anne is not a grown woman. Real, true men and women, actual adults, 
Don't act that way. Dumbasses that are essentially teenagers in adult bodies act that way. Nah, he doesn't owe either of them shit. Not a damn thing, and let me tell you. Mm -mm, not at all. He is absolutely not the asshole. He is dealing with at least four of them. His, uh, you know... Now, I don't even know what to call her, to be honest, because she's definitely not a mom in any sense of the word. <laughs> Except for just as you popped out a couple of kids, that's it. Uh, for dealing with a winch, uh, a little pee-pee piss pants puddle boy for a father, uh, the sister of her, and then I think he said her mom as well? Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely not. That, that's the conclusion. Uh, he is not the asshole, this poor kid. I hope that he finds a really good job, because he ain't going to get supported for any kind of fucking college from either of those two bums. Uh, yeah, so hopefully he just finds a really good job right off the bat and, uh, you know, makes his life a good and successful and happy and drama-free one. I'm hoping. And this is what happens, by the way, when, when you let a cheater into or back into your life. They always do it again. It's just they try to be better about not getting caught the second time. This is what happens every time. So don't lie to yourself. Alrighty. Well, thank you for joining me for this one. There will be another one, and I hope to see you in my next video. Good day. Good evening.